so I am here to do my top 14 books of 2014 and I'm just going to go through these really quickly because I just deleted my footage for my Christmas book haul and I don't really know why I did that so I'm going to have to refilm that in a minute so I just want to get this one over with because it's there's a 14 books here so let's get cracking. First up we have a Rick Riordan book and that is the Heroes of Olympus series. This is just you know spokesperson for the series because I would have put them all in individually but then it would just be a list of Rick Riordan books so I love the Heroes of Olympus and the Son of Neptune is my personal favourite. Next up one that came out this year and that is um, Magisterium the Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. I wonder if the next book will be called like the Copper Trial or the Bronze Trial. We have one I read very recently and that is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. It was just so magical and wonderful and childish and I wish I'd read this sooner because I'd read its prequel like three times and I never moved on to this one for some bizarre reason. Next up another Rick Riordan and that is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. Um, the last Olympian is my personal favourite but as I said I don't want a list of Rick Riordan books from my top 14 um, so I just put them all in as one. Next up a book I read very recently and that is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. Right can, I'm just gonna rant about this cover because I've been meaning to rant about it for a while. Who the... who is that girl? Right I get that's Jenna because she's got the pink stripe in her hair and I get that's probably Sophie um, and then and then they've got shadows so then those two are witches and then this one looks like a fairy I guess it's meant to be a bat because some vampires can turn into bats not in this book they can't um, so is that meant to be Elodie? Oh, not good. this book the cover ridiculous ridiculous but great book um, uh, next up we have another book by Rachel Hawkins and that is Rebel Bell which I believe came out this year or was it early or was it late 2013 I'm not sure but I loved it so much and I am eagerly anticipating the sequel it is my most anticipated release of 2015 um, Next up, the finale to a much beloved series that came out this year, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. A wonderful ending to the series. Like the second book I read in 2014, Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. I watched the film years ago and I loved it and I was like, oh my god, it's a book. Let me read it. I haven't finished the series yet, I've read the first like two books in this series, so I hope to continue with it next year. Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, I didn't put Insurgent and Allegiant in here because they weren't as good as Divergent but I did love the first book very very much because it was just amazing. And we have an amazing book guys, like brace yourselves. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Oh my god, oh my god I love Game of Thrones so much. Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. <sighs> This is the only book I've read but I've watched like all the TV shows so far and oh my god I can't wait for series 5. This series is kind of like my series, this is like my favourite series, I've been reading it from the very beginning, got the first book like a couple of days after it came out and I've been doing so for um, the next book. This is like the fourth book in the series and it is Ruby Redfort, Feel the Fear, oh my god I love Ruby Redfort so much. Before I forget we have Panic by Lauren Oliver, a lot of people complained that this was too unrealistic but in a strange way that's kind of why I liked it. I liked the whole mysterious don't know what's going on element to the book. Um, then we have Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead, the third book in the Vampire Academy series and I didn't actually make it all the way through the fourth book but the third book was really good. And then last but most certainly not least Looking for Alaska by John Green. Yes I prefer this to the Fault in Our Stars deal with it even though I read The Fault in Our Stars in 2013 and it was just amazing and I loved it so so much I read it in February so it was quite an early on read. 